Tonight at 9.45 p.m., Israel Television's Channel One will be showing a unique documentary film, Hitler's Jewish Soldiers, which tells the largely unknown story of soldiers of Jewish origin who served in the German army during World War II. Here's a look at the opening segment. This is Private Werner Goldberg. In 1939, a Berlin newspaper labeled him as the ideal German soldier. His picture was used on a recruiting poster for the Wehrmacht, Hitler's army. He served in the German army until 1940. He was dismissed because of his last name, Goldberg. Werner Goldberg, the ideal German soldier, was a Jew. Goldberg, your name? You are Aryan? I don't know what that is. Is it? I tell you, step up. You are not Aryan. But I must ask my father. <laughs> what follows is a very strange story about men who, despite their Jewish ancestry, were drafted into the same Nazi army that was out to destroy their Jewish relatives. The Nazis called these men Mischling. I didn't want to join the Wehrmacht. I had to go to the Wehrmacht. I put on Tfilin, Tfilin, here and here. I'm also a graduate of an Orthodox Jewish religious school, and I thought all I need was for someone from my family, my father or mother, to see me, their son, in a German uniform with a swastika. This is this much I know for sure, but proud being a uh, um, soldier of part Jewish descent to become a German officer. Yes, yes, I had aspired that. The filmmaker of Hitler's Jewish Soldiers is former IBA news anchorman Larry Price, who spoke about the project with IBA's Viva Press. And Martin van Krefeld, a Hebrew University professor of military history, said that there were 90,000 people eligible for the draft, according to the 1939 census. The amazing thing was that um, the Germans actually drafted Jews, half-Jews, people actually that were children of mixed marriages, into the German army. Uh, in 1935, according to the Nuremberg laws, they could be drafted. And um, we found people who had served in the army. Um, one guy um, was a paratroop lieutenant and served until 45. Uh, and he came out with three iron crosses. And he states explicitly that he was never a Nazi. He was a, a German fighting for, you know, for Germany. And there was a difference between Hitler's army and the army he was fighting for. But what was their motivation? Don't they weren't they, were they seen as traitors? They were drafted. They were drafted into the army, and they really had very little choice if they were drafted. They were, they either went into the army, or as it turned out, they would have been put into a concentration camp. Was there any uh, conflict for the Jewish soldiers in Hitler's army between their Jewishness and their Germanness? Um, They really didn't have much choice in the matter. It, they, it, it wasn't the kind of a country or a dictatorship that you could flee from. So even if they had objected, the, there's nothing they could do about it. One of the interesting things that came out was that one of the half-Jewish soldiers, whose father was a Jewish doctor from Berlin, and he was a highly decorated um, army officer from World War I. He was a major in 1936 and he was uh, working with military intelligence. And because of, in 38, 39, because of backdoor diplomatic channels between the Americans and the Germans, he was, as a German officer, sent to rescue the 6th Lubavitch Rebbe from the Warsaw Ghetto in 1939. And he actually went, dressed as a German officer, took the Lubavitch Rebbe and said, don't worry about it, I'm a Jew, everything's okay, I'm going to take care of you. And he eventually uh, took the Rebbe and his entourage of 18 people, children and grandchildren and, and in-laws, and took them uh, out of Germany. And this is a German officer in 1939 saving the Lubavitch Rebbe. Tell me something. Did you uncover any surprises while you were filming? Um, yeah. Uh, Arno Spitz, uh, uh, a gentleman who um, was the lieutenant and uh, he won three uh, iron crosses for bravery, was captured at the end of the war uh, in 45 when the Americans uh, uh, had approached in the last few days of the war. And he, a jeep pulled up, he tells the story, and 
We said, get in the car. And he said, where are you taking me? And the guy says, we're taking you to a prisoner of war camp. He says, you can't take me to a prisoner of war camp. I said, why not? Because my father is an American Jew. Now, how is his father an American Jew? His father it was Jewish, and he'd fled Germany in 37 for Los Angeles and settled in, in L.A. and was an um, um, American citizen. And the other, his son stayed in Germany and was in the army until he was captured. So you have these, I call it a paradox and, uh, or a conundrum, because this is not a situation that normally people think uh, of when they think of World War II. It's a fresh look, in my humble opinion. It's a fresh look at World War II and a fresh look at the definition that the Germans had um, of who's a Jew and who's a German. As David Bankier, a Hebrew University professor, said, um, the Germans were very good with defining who was a German, but when it came to defining who was a Jew, they got all entangled in, um, in their own laws. So the fact that Jews were drafted into the army in 35 um, was in and of itself something that people have a hard time getting their mind around. Your shoulders will be shown tonight on Channel 1 at 9.45 p.m.